Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to blur the background of your video using Premiere Pro. Granted, I wouldn't say that Premiere Pro is the easiest way to do that. I would say DaVinci Resolve is easier, but if this is the software you're using, then you're going to need to know how to do this at some point. So let's go ahead. So let me just give you a, give you the example of this is the before, okay, and this is what it looks like afterwards where we've adjusted, we've blurred the background, and of course we could do it more if we really wanted to. We could increase the blurriness, so let's just blur the hell out of it, I guess. It doesn't really let you go all that far with it, fr frankly. That's using Gaussian blur. And there you have it, okay. and then turning it off. So hopefully you can see the difference there, even though we're losing resolution as we go through with this. Let's put it back to 400. Okay. And then I'm also using a brightness and contrast layer as well, just to create a sort of soft vignette around the edge. All right. So let me just show you how we do this. So first of all, you have a choice. You can either apply it directly to your um, video layer right here, down there, or you can create an adjustment layer. I'll show you how to do it with the adjustment layer just because it's it can be pretty it's a little bit easier so you just make sure you're clicked into your project panel first of all for windows i recommend being window workspace all panels because then you'll actually be able to see all the things that you are going to need for this okay so you're selected you've selected the project panel you go to file new and then adjustment layer okay and then make sure that it's the right aspect ratio okay and then we're going to pull it on. So you need to be way over at the edge and zoomed in. So I'm just pressing the plus sign to zoom in because you can't see it otherwise. Pull it all the way out. Let's just keep pulling it. Okay, great. We're going to just change the color of this so that oh, that was a dumb color. Purple. Okay, yeah. That's still a dumb color. I'm trying to change the color so that it is not distracting. Like. Let's make it blue. How about that? Okay, better. All right, so we have our new adjustment layer. Let's pull this down. Let's make it whatever. Okay, cool. So we are starting fresh. I'm going to turn off that adjustment layer so we can start fresh. So now what do we need to do? We need to make sure we go into effects. We're going to go blur. You could use other blurs. Um, you could probably also use unsharp mask. That's actually something I should test, but Gaussian blur has always been how I've done it in the past. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I drag it on and then it's very confusing because nothing happens. So first go over and just make it crazy blurry. That way you can see everything and it's really easy for you to understand what the heck's going on. So you can see that it's there. Then we're going to make a circular um, mask. Okay, so all I did there, let me just go backwards. I made it super blurry. Then I clicked the circle to make a mask. Okay. I'm going to pull that mask over the face, then I'm going to drag, you see this little, um, there's, I'm sure there's some fancy name for this thing, whatever, I'm going to drag this little stick here, <laughs> pulling it just down because it's easier this way because when you have your face up, you're going to be pulling it kind of, you see this sideways, okay, we're just adjusting it to get the dotted lines kind of around the face. So the dotted lines refer to like feathering, basically, where the feathering starts and ends. Okay, now I'm gonna inverse it. So click over here for inverted. Okay, that obviously looks kind of crazy. <laughs> um, and then what I'm gonna do is just make it way bigger, right? I'm gonna pull it. Usually I like to make it, we're obviously doing this to create emphasis on the person, right? and pull the emphasis off of the background. So the thing is, is that we need to feather it enough so it doesn't look crazy, right? And we also need to make it somewhat subtle. So here, what I've done is I've got the feathering starting right at the face. Okay, that's kind of okay. And you can just fart around with that for a while. All right. So, you know, if you were going for something dramatic, that could work. You want to just, like, drag your play bar through and see if it's crazy. Obviously, with this case, you know, the hands are definitely 
kind of wacky. This is like pretty aggressive. I would definitely not recommend this. So now we're going to pull back our blurriness way back. But you start with the blurriness aggressive so that you can actually see what the heck you're doing. So it's like if we turn this on and off, you can click the effects button on and off. There you go to see it. It's like you want to take it too far and then bring it back a little bit. Okay. That's probably okay right there. Turn it on and off. Yes. Makes a big difference. But it doesn't look completely insane. Still, the hands are going to go in and out of focus. So you wouldn't use this for something where you're trying to go for extreme realism. This is like a meditation kind of instruction on a bit of a crazy background. So, you know, we can get away with it if we really wanted to. Um, yeah, okay. So you could just end things there. Or if you wanted to, you could also do what I did before, which is just make the, in the other example, also use the um, saturation and reduce the saturation as well. So let's see if we can find saturation here. I think we have to go into the color panel for this. Lumetri presets or Lumetri, let's see. Okay, can you tell that I don't use Premiere Pro that much anymore? Okay, we are going to color correction and Lumetri color, okay. So I'm going to drag, so if the easy way to do this is just type in Lumetri, Lumetri, spelling went wrong, color, okay, and then you find it, great, you drag it on, okay, grand, just grand. So now we are going into, I believe it's going to be in basic, let me just move the window over here, creative, or basic, okay, it's in creative, great. So then we're just going to pull the saturation down, but then we're going to apply the circle to make that mask of ours. Now you can see, let's make it even more aggressive so we can see it better. And where are we here? We in our, we're in our creative here. And the saturation, let's pull it way down. There you go. We can see it really clearly now. Okay. And if I click on it, I can, I should be able to select it and move it around. Let's see. Oops. That just made another mask. It should be, for some reason, I'm not able to move it around. And that is a little frustrating. Let's see. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So I had to select mask, press play, and then take the play, take play off. Okay. Go back to V, which is the, yeah. V is your little arrow. Okay. We're just expanding it. Obviously, we're going to reverse it. Let's bring our stick downwards. I should really find out what this thing is actually called, but I don't have a clue. Okay. I'm not going to make this perfect because you really don't want to probably sit here watching me do this. Do you? Probably not. Okay. So now let's invert it. Great. Still very aggressive. Okay. La la loo, la la loo. Okie dokie. Whatever. And then obviously now we are going to reduce the intensity. Okay. So once you get a lot of these things doing going on over here, it can be a little confusing trying to find the thing. And if you keep pressing mask, like I've done that before, you, you think you can't find it and then you press mask to find it again. Nope. That just makes another mask. So if you close, it can help to just close everything. So we found it here. Our saturation is under creative. And so we're just going to bring it up again. So again, go bring it all the way up. Okay, now the saturation is too much. Bring it down until it's too much. And then up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Good. So if this were something a little more formal, then you would not want to take the blurring that aggressive and you'd want to bring it down a little bit and just make it like very gentle. Even just like 15 can be good. You know, like I'm not sure if you can see the difference there because we obviously we're not highest resolution. Let's just take a look here if you can kind of see that it really does make a difference even, you know, 16 to 20, um, but it's not quite as strong. Oh, anyway, all right, so that's it. Blurring your background, the end.